We're going to show you a NaviNet demo we conducted in Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. So uh, you can see this is outside our office building. And the AP is located on top of this building. The, this region, the signal are not very good, uh, like in front of this uh, building are very weak because it's blocked by this uh, corner here. And these two uh, spots, because they are uh, underneath the hill, so they actually have no signal from the AP. We, what we did is we placed a NaviNet mesh node uh, on this location and you laced the signal. And uh, after that, the signal uh, in front of the building become much stronger. And then we place a second NaviNet mesh node uh, and relate it uh, from the first hub uh, to um, to the internet. And then the the two spot, the two blind spot actually eliminated and uh, not only have signal but much stronger. And now we place a third vehicle with a NaviNet mesh node attached to it. And it automatically scanned it and discovered that all the APs and the mesh node around, but it selected the one near the light pole um, as a first parent because it's much very strong signal. And then select the second one uh, uh, as a uh, standby uh, parent right there. So, and now we're going to drive the vehicle around and as it goes the uh, signal from the first uh, parent uh, main parent drops and eventually it fast switch to the to the backup parent there and then we drive right back and um, this is the um, the real setting here uh, right in front of the office building and you can see the uh, AP is far away uh, on top of that building the spiky thing you can see on top of that building, that's the A8. And the, uh, because uh, this, uh, the building blocking the signal, so this region actually have very uh, poor signal. What we did is we attached this uh, NaviNet mesh node on the light pole. And then uh, we're going to show you using a laptop uh, and the show you the throughput improved a lot you, uh, by, by using our NaviNet mesh node. And this, we are standing right in front of the building and we are going to use this laptop to connect. So we first we are going to uh, connect to the uh, AP directly and we are going to do a speed test. So in the speed test, so it's only 1.65 megabits per second uh, for download speed and the upload speed is very poor as well, only 0 0.15 megabits per second. Now we're going to connect using our first uh, mesh node and uh, we are connect to all this uh, using WPA2 so and uh, you can, uh, we can, uh, we're going to uh, click the start the uh, speed test again and uh, you can see the uh, throughput is 10 times better, 16.47 megabits per second for download speed. Um, and the upload speed is 14 megabit. So it uh, significantly improved the, the throughput using a uh, uh, NaviNet mesh node. And I'm going to show you in our monitor. This is our monitor. And the uh, you can see from the graph, the triangle is the laptop, the client. And it connects to this uh, mesh node and then the big green circle is the AP and then go online. And now we go to the uh, second uh, NaviNet mesh node uh, location uh, right there. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, around the uh, nearby settings. And uh, we're going to use the laptop here to run the throughput test. And that's the first location uh, where we did the speed test. And uh, First, uh, NaviNet mesh node is behind this tree um, on the light pole far away. And you actually cannot see the AP here because it turned the corner, it's very far away. Now we do the same thing, we connect directly to the AP first. 
and do a speed test. So it should be okay. Zero point five four megabits per second, much worse than the first spot, which is expected. And then the upload speed, it's pretty poor as well. And now again we connect to our second hub using WPA2 to connect to the NeverNet second uh, mesh node. And we do the speed test as well. And you can see it's almost 10 uh, megabits per second. So again, it significantly uh, improved the throughput. And the upload is 6.07 megabits per second. Now we uh, go to the third part of our demo. We have a vehicle with Alex, Nico, and Professor Gary Chen, and a NeverNet mesh node uh, attached to the car. And uh, you can see the first hard mesh node is on the on the light pole, far away by uh, behind the yellow car there. And we have uh, Alan standing by there, and we are driving around the circle and down the hill and turn, and we uh, goes to that uh, spot uh, underneath the uh, hill. And uh, throughout this process, we have a laptop uh, in the inside the vehicle, and uh, I will show you later how the connection uh, uh, quickly switch and um, how the throughput uh, everything. So, and then we drive back uh, to the original spot, and you will um, switch back to the. Uh, so now in the um, monitor, you can see a triangle because uh, the, the hub in on the vehicle connect to this hub, the first hub, as a main parent. And it also connect to the second hub as a standby parent with a thinner line there. And we turn on a uh, YouTube. And uh, you can see the buffer just started. So we just start uh, the YouTube and we turn uh, start some ping. And then we are going to uh, dry around. So we are actually driving now um, underneath uh, the, the hill and uh, the turn toward the second uh, mesh node and everything. And you can see from the uh, monitor, the triangle disappear because there's uh, no longer the, uh, the main parent you can attach to. So it's going through the original backup parent, uh, use it as a main parent now, and go through online. And you can see uh, there's uh, the buffer still going, and there's uh, only a few um, two to three uh, time uh, ping timeout. Then the basically the user applications are not interrupted by uh, this fast switch. Now we're driving back, driving up the circle, and going back to the uh, nearby the uh, the first NeverNet uh, mesh node by the light pole. We can see again in the uh, uh, monitor the triangle appear again, and uh, because we have the um, the node in the car connect uh, to the main parent again, and then also the backup parent, so it forms the triangle again. And this concluded our demo in HKUST for the NeverNet. Thank you very much.